never going out. <laughs> Spike down mid. On more mail, get copy kin. <laughs> Bro, you are you just deady peaked rafters twenty seconds into the round while your teammates are pushing B heaven. Uh, let me show you. Let's wait for the next pick. Okay, perfect. This is round ten. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, so here's the jet kill, and this is when I wanted to look at the mini map to show you that A site is like completely open, and like look. Do you see the mini map? And now, of course, if we just pretended you had wall hacks, let's rewind and let's look at the um, timeline here. So after the raise kill, they're already off of site, which is <laughs> now. <laughs> so right now, nine seconds into the round, they've already rotated off of A. So if you were wall hacking, you could actually just knife out right now all the way through to screens and shift through their spawn, which would take about 10 seconds. On more mail, get to get to like CT near heaven, which would be now. So again, in in the wall hacking scenario, now you're here where my mouse is, coming behind them. And while that timing would be a bit crazy, you thought Cypher's still on site? Oh, bet that's fine. Then you should just um, that's great. That's all I needed to hear. If Cypher's still on site, then why don't you just TP across the ramps right now? and lurk fast through ropes because that makes it really awkward for Cypher. Yeah, he'll hear your TP, but like, so what? What's he gonna do? What, what he's gonna do is he's gonna get nervous about it. He's gonna warn his team. He's gonna be like, whoa, watch out, Omen TP'd on A or something. And they're gonna give up like a ton of space and you're gonna get free bomb site on B. So you're saying in chat that you had a read that Cypher's on site, but I don't believe you because you're like slow clearing ramps. Like what, you think two of them are still A? And then you clear rafters. Which is it? Cypher's on site or or he's rafters? Spike down mid. Still be Can you just wait? I may have a time. Last player standing. Yeah, and because you were unwilling to take risk in your lurk timing, we just lose the round. And I get how like from your POV it can feel like your teammates lost the round. They played too fast or whatever. But no, you lost this round. Like 32 seconds to push ramps when your teammates are fighting mid is crazy. It's unacceptable. Oh, you hit Immortal Peak for the first time this episode. That's actually crazy. Holy swoop. Look at this guy's tracker. Bronze, silver, gold, diamond. Wow, you played like no hours. 394 hours to Immortal? Bro, link your second account, no? Like, what's going on here? This is crazy. <laughs> this guy's a beast. Yeah, no, they have a thousand hours total playtime chat. I think they're just playing a bunch of unrateds with the homies. Oh, we have a second account linked. Bet. Oh, no, it's like even less hours, though. What the? No, but this doesn't make sense because you end. I'm just trying to figure out how you can end gold two, win eight games, and then end diamond one. Oh, this is when they added ascending, yeah. I'm gonna do a smoke on top yeah. here. Sus? It's not sus. I was just wondering about the right actual there. math of it. Let's go fast. Yeah. All right. I'm just on your side. Oh, you're doing the thing? I feel like when you do this play, you do not want frenzy. Because a lot of the time you end up up here and you'll see like multiple enemies in front of you. And the frenzy is really hard to get like the multi-frag. Do you disagree? Like, I think it might be better to go classic light armor on this uh, on this play. And at this point now, the frenzy's fine. Yeah, this is sort of my case in point though. Like, let's pretend um, the gecko flash doesn't hit us. Let's pretend here we just kill Jet, okay? Just humor me for a moment. So now after you've killed Jet, they can swing out CT. And do you see how now you have four bullets because you have a frenzy, which is really miserable. You sort of have to reload. Like the frenzy can't kill like two people with one mag unless you're really, really precise. 
So I, I think we should be playing classic here. Spike down B. <laughs> exactly, like exactly, okay? Like this is exactly what I'm talking about. Oh my goodness. He has an outlaw, he fired both shots. Okay, wait, where's our abilities? Can you don't even open buy menu. Let's just pretend that you open buy menu and it says your next round credits are 5,900. Surely then you'd buy your abilities, yeah? I get that we're saving this round, but buying abilities is generally just good. Unless, of course, it's going to pull you below uh, a buy threshold. But abil buying abilities is really good, especially on eco, because you don't have to use them. Like, you can just sit on them. He has an outlaw. He fired both We have shots. to train a whole new set of chatters now for VOD review streams. Some anyway. One tapped. Gun here. Gekko is mid. Gekko mid. I feel like you have to play for that gun. I don't know. Let's see. Gun here. So we have a sheriff that we should definitely play for. And then I think with the sheriff in the 3v4, you absolutely want to look for this engagement here because the upside is so huge. The sheriff duel is not that bad. And also if you win, you get an outlaw. Gekko is mid, Gekko mid. And like, what's the point of falling back? Like you have no util, no gun. No smokes for eight. Gun here. 100 cypher, he's a man. <laughs> oh, How is the guy there? Spike down A. Cypher was a man, he had a... Bro, what is going on? This is... Why isn't she grabbing the sheriff? Cypher was a man, he had a frenzy. There should be a gun like here, you know? Remaining. One shot. Yeah, now if she had the How sheriff, she just plays one body. No. I think. Yeah. Okay, bet. Bet. She might be more confident on ghost. No. Wednesday. Had that, that's like the type of thing like a silver player would say. Oh, you are silver. Never mind. I'm sorry. But like, even if you're more confident on like, so th there's lots of people who will say like, oh, I don't buy rifles. I'm more confident on Spectre, and they'll do that because they're like low elo or whatever. It's like, dude. That's not, it doesn't matter if you're more confident on Spectre, the rifle's way better, you have to learn how to use it. Like the Sheriff is just better, so use it. Why not go side then? I mean, I'm fine with going side as well. I'm gonna stun here then. Press side, Tommen. He's 1 HP, 1 HP. Mm, yeah, you can't go up here, you have the bomb. On Elba. I got go. 120 in the smoke, Riz. Have not smoke. Yeah, another bomb rafters. Did I we mean... grab the bomb at the start of the round? Or did one of these assholes I throw can... it at us? Okay. Oh, Breach Going threw side. it at us like last second. Why not go side then? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> That's so annoying. I think the play is good, but I'm pretty sure if you're going to go for these TP plays, you I need mean, to be buying um, Phantom or... Guy. Oh, you even have it. You have a shorty, dude. What are you doing? He's 1 HP. 1 HP. You have a shorty! And you're walking into a smoke! I didn't even realize I had bombed. Yeah, I know, I know. I already watched past that. I agree that you shouldn't even realize. Like, the breach through that at last second. Uh, I don't fault you for missing that. So I'm just focusing on this. Like, we're dry peeking into a smoke with a vandal. At first, that's gonna be like, well, we should at least have phantom. But even better, like, you bought a shorty. So use your shorty. This is, like, exactly where you'd want the shorty. Cover going out. Oh. Interesting. We're smoking oh. ropes? Okay. My goodness. My bad. I can see the internet lagging. Okay. Valo plan. So there's two ways you can fight for mid on split, and we're doing neither, which is no good. And I'll get to show you them once Valo plant loads. Holy swoop. The internet is chugging. So option one is you smoke mail this last 15 seconds. And during those 15 seconds, you take ropes control. You'll like drop down, maybe double drop. And you'll stop right here and then you can you play it from there so now the smoke will fade and you can decide to either push into b heaven or into a heaven so this is option one it's like slower and you play more controlled and usually you'll do this 
on like a mid split like maybe you'll have three or two guys fighting mid like you remember that round you fought mid with your uh your dude at the sheriff that's when i like the mail smoke the slower mid contest and you have people pushing a or pushing b the other type of mid is like a fast mid push which we can use the smoke that you used here but when you do the smoke here we need to pair it with an omen flash b heaven all right and then this is like the second way we can rush mid and this would require you to be you'll notice this requires you to be ramen side I'll go with Fujit. Walk up, I'm watching the smoke. Yeah, like you tell Reyna to walk up and you're watching her smoke. But like she can't fight B Heaven here with any advantage whatsoever. And you can't trade. Uh, because it's only two of you mid, at a certain point you need to just ignore this smoke and gamble. Because you have to swing with Reyna. So like right like here is where you should already be behind her. To swing looking be heaven um does that make sense like you yeah they could peek out of the smoke and kill both of you for that three second window where you're both looking be heaven but what are the odds that that's the exact timing they peek out it's low so you sort of um you sort of just let reina take a dry fight here um, you didn't even try to trade still have a, still have a base. i won on base night. yeah that was three mid and you're dead too we lose the round cover going out Nope. Fuck him up. Please. Okay, I'll check traps now. Let's go. Get one side. Blinding Gecko. Don't pick, don't pick. I got it. I'm holding. One enemy remaining. A bonus. Okay, the round's good, but I'm a bit concerned with like Holy. our pacing. So I'm gonna play it back. Cover going out. No. Cover going out. Okay, traps now. And so it's like here, you see your teammates get this pick A heaven on Omen. And now you're worried that there's a sight guy, and I agree completely. So I think we can TP into the smoke. A heaven. To like double up with our dudes. Okay, I'll check traps now. Like right here. Here's where I just whip out the TP, TP into the smoke, not outside of it in this case, because we, we killed one already right near it. Blinding Gecko. Don't be this feels really don't patient. Need. Which happens to work Are out. You to the nade? But Close I don't like giving the enemy team all that time. Okay, just on site. I broke one trap. I'm gonna lift come. And they're under. Oh, bad. Oh, bad. Okay, okay, let's let's chill the hell out though, no? So you blast this guy into the Shadow Realm because you're a beast, Omen Diff. And then on 30 HP, you just immediately oh, swing like all of heaven, where you would easily just get killed, like for free. So if you kill this guy, and now you just like drop into hell and hide, wait for your smoke to come back up, TP rafters, jump into the smoke with shorty, you, you might be able to get another. Echo city. Maybe a status. Whoa? That's crazy, bro. That is crazy. One shot. Cover going out. Yeah. This has got super awkward. Last player standing. Now we lose. Spike down B. Come down one. Can you come under me, Jen? One enemy remaining. Yeah, so I like the calm. But you can see as your jet's crossing that like there's a fight. Maybe you should be ready to help her for that fight. And then once she crosses, you can come back up to this passive position. Otherwise, I would think the round is good, but we're just not willing to support them when things like this happen. <laughs> Lily, take notes. <laughs> I saw nothing be mine. Shadows traveling. Okay, yeah, so this round, this mid smoke you just threw, the reason why you're comfortable throwing it on this timing is because you don't recognize what real timing looks like. 
I guess, for lack of a better word. Like a, a higher rated player is already in front of this smoke um, because they're not afraid. Like if there were a mid lurker, which it turns out there's not. We've seen all three. But that smoke would do nothing. If anything, it would encourage them to lurk even faster, assuming that it's behind them, because they would know that now you don't recognize their timing. One serious. Oh, bad. They smoked off fence. Were you. In power. <laughs> nah, you did this to yourself, bro. I loved the play. Then we just start wiggling. Power. <laughs> Wait, you were holding so well, too. You're like static holding. Afraid of them pushing B from tower. What do you mean? You would hear them on site. Like, their tower, yeah. And getting pinched. Yeah, you're giving me insight. You're too insecure. Like, you are not... Like, sure, let's say they're dropping onto B right now. So fucking what, dude? They're gonna make noise. You'll hear them when they're pinching you. And that's when you react. Like, you're, you're preemptively reacting to a thing that's not happening yet. Like, yeah, it might happen. But when it does happen, it's not like they're gonna drop out of B heaven with enemies behind them and shift walk up to your ass and shoot you. Because... They have to make noise when they're scaling onto site. You feel? So it's like you're worried about something that is likely to happen, but you're worried about it before it happens. Last player standing. Cover going out. Enemy spotted B. I think B man. Could be hands. Shadows traveling. B main chat. Yep. Yeah, this resmoke is super insecure. Like we only have one smoke up right now. We have no info anymore. Our jet's even peeking B main right now. So you can see they're not B main. She peeks wide. You can see in the frame by frame data. She actually peeks all the way out and there's nothing there. And we just burned our smoke. Like you need some info, man. It, it's your last smoke. If you have two up, then using one makes a lot of sense because it starts the recharge timer ticking. Um, but when you just have one up, you do not want to use your Fuck last smoke unless it's uh, an emergency. Yeah, B main's full clear. B main's full clear. And now we would have two smokes, and so we'd be able to just pop one, like mid or A. Uh, I doubt it. You're gonna pop one anyways, which is even worse. Because now if they end up popping A, what do we do? Or B. Like, we're blind, I'm blind, Omen. They're pushing. I'm standing power now. Yeah, they're already in front of that smoke. Bet? Omen tip it somewhere. One more. Nice one, Vance. He tipped mid. Could be once. No, he is Vance. Reloading. Could be flanking you, CT. Yeah. Your comms lack. Yeah, see? Like, he went Vance to A heaven. Like, duh. Instead of saying he TP'd mid, could be Vance, you have to be like, yo, Breach, fall back. Omen TP'd towards Vance. He's likely A heaven right now. You're alone. Like, you have to give your read a bit harder. Because the read is very clear here. Could be flanking you, CT. What? Bow, fun, chat. That breach just dies. Planting. You heard them ramp, I see. Because if, if my teammate comms could be vents, I, I treat that comm pretty weak, if that makes sense. Like, I'm, I'm not too concerned about a could be vents. If my teammate comms omen TP mid, I think he's vents coming up A heaven. Careful. That's like way different. You feel? Planted. You honestly have like good fundamentals. So I think it's pretty easy. Because on average you're making the right decisions you're just not um you're not playing accurately enough in those decisions like either you're a bit too paranoid about a play or you're just like not willing to take any risk struggle to take on any amount of risk and it leads to our play frequently being weak sample one we are scaling mid on split with our reina just the two of us reina is about to peak be heaven Oops, it smoked. Wrong. Passive. You come. I'll hold your ropes. Rena swings a 50-50. Correct. Gamble unlikely. Timing. You come. Rena, I'll swing B heaven with you. Swing B heaven together. Ignore threat of someone dry peeking ropes on timing. So this is one example. Example two. Your team is scaling mid as four on split. And we're lurking a main. 20 seconds into the round, our team has two picks mid, and we've heard nothing. 
on A, wrong, passive. You continue shift walking and hard clearing every threat. Correct. Gamble. You realize that if you were playing A, you would have likely rotated or made noise by now. Just hope they're not here and flank super fast. Okay, so I grabbed two examples from your VOD. I put them in your notes first so that we can remember this next time we're reviewing. And now let's talk about how we can uh, how we can fix this. So let's talk attack first. Next VOD, I want to see you dying with your knife out on at least one lurk round. However, we need to be able to agree on this round that your death was unlucky, not because you were being too greedy. So for example, if you, on round two, you lurked A main like knife out and you died to Cypher who happened to actually be sight still, I would have called that unlucky because 30 seconds into the round or 20 or whatever, that guy should not have still been A sight. And so we call that unlucky. But what I don't want you to do is start a lurk round with zero info and just knife out and go die. I won't count that for your notes. Does that make sense? So you can't just knife out, go die and say, oh, bet I got my check mark. Um, I have to agree that the death is unlucky. So if you die to something and it was something we could have reasonably expected, I'm not going to be happy and we're going to have to push it further. But if you die to something, I go, yeah, it was unlikely. Then you're chilling. This is going to be a hard line for you to find with this. What I want you to focus on trying to find on your attack rounds, on your lurk uh, plays. In general, favor taking fights with your teammates over covering every option defense avoid using your second smoke without hard info hard info is defined as having full objective proof of an enemy location within the past we'll, we'll say like 500 ms so i don't want you using your second smoke off of intuition or like a read. Like you remember that round you just smoked mid, but we didn't have any smokes left after we threw it. And it turns out they were already like male. Then this is a dead smoke and now we have no more smokes left. So I don't want you using your second smoke um, off of these insecurities. Like you're insecure about a certain threat and so you go to use your smoke, but it's the wrong answer when you don't have that second smoke. And I think this is going to teach you to use your smokes less um, liberally. I am hoping that this hard rule will make you realize how you are too willing to use your first smoke. Thank you for the VOD, Vitez Ninja. Good luck on the improvement. Hey, Wuhujin here. Did you know that I stream every weekday doing VOD reviews and playing ranked? If you enjoy the videos, the best way to support me is to show up live. If this video was just uploaded, it's very likely that I'm streaming right now. All of my coaching is free, but that means I need to make money in other ways. Please consider supporting me with a Discord subscription if you can afford to do so. I run many live events for my tier three subscribers as a thank you for letting me pursue my passion every day. At 2000 subscribers, I'll be booking a flight out to EU and to APAC to play in-houses on your servers. Thank you for supporting me.